do not skip this video for your own sake, okay? I already know you're not shooting consistent in 2K21, and you probably have somewhere between a 60 and an 80 three-pointer. Well, today, I'm going to make you shoot consistent. I'm going to be showing you the best jump shot, the best way to get your shooting badges maxed out, ways to make your shot meter that you're using bigger, the best jump shot settings, and different ways to make your shooting percentage higher. This will make you a demigod on 2K21. So let's get into it. Hey, yeah, you, drop a like in the video in the next five seconds, or else you will be shooting like this for the rest of NBA 2K21. Trust me, I would not risk that, bro. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. Now, in today's video, I'm going to help you shoot the ball in NBA 2K21. As you can see in the background gameplay, I have a 77 three-pointer, and most of these clips, only six shooting badges, and I have been going crazy. I've gone on a 73-game win streak and got error-coded. I've gone on 40 game win streaks. I have a 97 win percent. I'm literally going crazy in NBA 2K21 with the best ISO build. And if you want that, link will be in the description, okay? Now make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're not, what are you doing if you're not subscribed? I stream every day. I got one of the best builds in the game. I'm going to be 99 overall probably tomorrow. I'm going to be able to speed boost, have contact, text, all this stuff, and you're going to be missing out? Subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on the video. Now let's get in to the first tip. Oh okay, yeah, I'm going to be telling you guys like seven different things that you can do to shoot an NBA 2K21 with these quote-unquote low three-pointers, 60 to 80 three-pointer. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is click the start button, go to your settings, okay? Now there's a lot of settings right here, okay? Now what you want to do is go to shot feedback. Make that on all shots. This is going to be the thing at the little top where you can see the coverage of the shots you're shooting, your opponents are shooting, and your teammates are shooting. So that's a must. You want to know, you know, what the coverage is. You need to know this. So make sure your shot feedback is on all shots. Now, under controller shot settings, there's a lot of things, okay? The first thing is vibration. Why would you not turn this on, okay? Sometimes the vibration doesn't work, but basically what happens is that your controller will vibrate as soon as you're supposed to release the ball, especially if you're not gonna use meter. This is a must. If you have this off, it's basically like taking a test and your teacher tells you you can have open notes and you're just not taking o you're just not gonna bring your open notes you know what i'm saying like you may as well have vibration on why would you not have that on anyways shot meter now this is a big thing i've been using my shot meter now if you have a high three-point rating and your badges i would take the shot meter off but i have kind of a low three-point rating and i didn't really have all my badges and because of other things i'm going to be talking about later i'm going to keep my shot meter on this year you guys know that i have my shot meter off the entirety of last year now shot aiming there's a lot of options with shot aiming and shot aiming is very overpowered and if you want to get used to it i highly recommend it i would recommend if you fade the ball use the stick every single time if you're not using the stick when you're fading you're tripping trust me test it out you may as well fade okay now with shot aiming it's very overpowered basically mike wang one of the devs said that you get a boost when you use shot aiming and the boost is very high when you aim with the right stick try to aim it if you time it correctly with a stick it's green no matter how bad the aim is if you aim it correctly with the right stick but the timing is terribly off it's green so like you literally have two different ways to green the shot all at once doubling your chances of greening the shot not only is the right stick more overpowered because it increases your chances of greening so it's like like four times as more grains with the right stick you know what i'm saying like it's super overpowered but make sure you put shot aiming if you want to use it on shots only because if you put it on layups you're going to get a lot of reverse layups and those are super higher hard to time so make sure it's on shots only that's what i would recommend and then also copy down these other ones pro stick function pro stick orientation all that stuff copy those down make sure those are correct but yeah that's it for the jump shot setting now my second tip is kind of obvious but go buy boost i actually never bought boost until very recently 
but the boost stand is over here in the neighborhood go buy some boost if you don't know what boosts are basically you could buy some jump shot boost that's going to increase your chances of making jump shots and it, you know if you have the vc you may as well do it especially when you're grinding your badges you're going to get more badge progression you're going to get to your shooting badges faster and just overall you're going to play better so yeah go ahead and do that now if you're trying to get used to the jump shot i show in this video go to the my court the my court is located at this kind of advanced little you know building right here you know you go through these doors click a go to the my court but anyways in this my court you can click over here and go to play with friends and then click the shoot around drill now on shoot around you could just dribble around you know practice your shot maybe practice some dribble moves but there's also a drill called ball machine i told you guys about this drill last year Go to each spot on the mid-range, go to each spot on the three-point line, and just catch and shoot, and keep shooting. Practice your jump shot, practice with no meter, practice the aiming, practice, 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 practice. Practice this new 2K21, it's gonna get time to get used to, I'm telling you, I'm shooting consistent. The first thing I went to to practice this jump shot was the my court. And then when I got on the court, I was going crazy. I went on a 70 game win streak, okay? So please use the my court to your advantage. It will definitely help you out instead of just going into a park game, not knowing your jump shot release and just, you know, practicing it on the fly. Go to the my court. Okay, now the next thing is the badge method. How to get your shooting badges, okay? This is very important. Now in park, look at, all I do is just play with a glass cleaner and he just keeps getting my board. Have your center, just keep passing it out. Tell him never to go up if you want your shooting badge. Just keep passing it out. It doesn't matter if you go a hunt one for a hundred. This year, it still gives you shooting badge progression, no matter how bad your percentage is. So just have them keep passing out. This is how I went from struggling with shooting badges to getting my shooting badges, literally in all of them, all 17 within like 60 part games, okay? So just keep passing out, okay? Now you can also play my career, okay? And you can also go to these drills. Now, you can unlock these drills. Here they are in the park. You know, I'm going to walk all the way over here. It's literally a marathon. I literally had the Gatorade symbol after I got here, okay? But anyways, you could do this after, like, every three park games, after every micro game. Once again, you can play micro too, but I'm just not a good micro player. Anyways, you're going to go over here, dribble the ball around until the coach calls you over. But eventually, you're going to be able to click B and just choose your own shooting drills. So go to shooting, do these drills. You can get either one star, two star, three stars. Try to literally try hard on this. Because if you get three stars, you get more badge progression, obviously, with the more stars. So do this pretty often. If you're not in a park game, go do this, okay? Go get your shooting badge progression. I did this a lot in the beginning. And this is how I really got my first couple of shooting badges. And, you know, that helped me a lot in the beginning so I could actually start reading in games so i can get even more shooting progression okay so definitely do these two things 100 percent. now guys i'm gonna be showing you the best badges right now now most of the clips i only had like 6 10 shooting badges but now i have like all 17 shooting badges okay i'm also gonna be showing some gameplay at the end showing how consistent i actually am and i'm not just gonna cut up clips i'm actually gonna put a full game in okay so make sure you watch that but these are the badges i'm rocking with right now gold can shoot gold corner are very good to start off with that's what i started off with those are the, my first six shooting badges then gold green machine gold ready center gold hot start is really good this year please use that if you make your first shot oh my god that badge is so good silver hot zone because i don't really have all my hot zones left you, know, you put on difficult you could put on dead eye but all the other badges and eh, I, I don't think any of the other badges are that good this year these are my other badges if you guys were wondering because i actually have maxed badges and yes i didn't play any micro i played all park and got all these badges yes that method i showed you in the last clip yes it works do it throw lobs for playmaking shoot for shooting look at i have a 77 three-pointer just to confirm okay catch lobs for driving just play defense and get steals for defense okay i'm at the moment i'm a 95 overall but i'm gonna get to 99 soon okay y'all but let's get to the next most important tip yet now one of my last tips is huge now look at how small the shot meter is comment the number one in the comment section if you hate this shot meter look at how small this is bro i can't even see the bar i'm supposed to be timing on so this is what you have to do, bro. Click the left D-pad and go to 2K low and use this camera angle. I know you're going to be like, bro, what? This looks crazy. Like, no, trust me. You can actually see the bar now. The bar is way bigger. And this, as soon as I change it, I've been shooting it. 10 times better i can actually see the bar if you don't use the meter don't use this camera angle but if you do 
Oh my god, this camera angle is so overpowered. This is the camera angle I went on a 73 game win streak with. This is the camera angle that brought me to a 98 win percent. This is the camera angle that got me all 17 shooting badges. And this is the camera angle that is making me shoot consistent with a 77 three-pointer on day two of NBA 2K21, okay? Trust me, if you're not using this, you're missing out. Okay, I know, finally, I'm showing the jump shot in the video, but guess what? If you skip to this part, if you skip to this part right now, you're not going to be able to shoot consistent. You're not. You're not. Because you didn't listen to the rest of the video, and if you don't have these other tips I'm showing, you're not going to be able to shoot consistent. But anyways, here is my custom jump shot. Now, make sure you get the whole blending, because if you don't get the blending, this is not a good jump shot. Okay, so everything is Dwayne Wade. A lot of people are doing different releases, but I'm not going to lie. You don't make any whites with those different releases. So make everything Dwayne Wade, okay? Make everything Dwayne Wade, 100%. Blending, make your speed on 75%. It's just one lower than max speed. If you go max speed, you're not gonna shoot consistent with this jump shot. Go 75 speed, 50-50 blending, this is the best jump shot. Now, unlike these other YouTubers, I'm gonna be showing you no cuts. I'm gonna show you an entire game of me with a 77 three-pointer with this jump shot, okay? And at this point, I didn't even have my max badges yet. Look at me. I did shoot a right right there, but you know, we made it. 5-0, two for two. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if this video helped you out at all. Fade away. You know what I'm saying? I went in. 7-0. I get another shot right here. Another mid-range. Green, 9-0. Now remember, my mid-range is a 79. My three-point is a 77. Okay, I don't, I'm not using dimer. I'm not using floor general. Another green at the top of the key. Now I have takeover, 12-0. You already don't have this takeover to gaze over, green! 15-0, I have a 77 three-pointer. Who do you see doing with a 77 three? Who do you see doing this? Who do you see doing this? Who do you see doing this, y'all? Green. Nobody. I'm the only one doing this consistent 98 win percent, y'all. I know what I'm talking about with this jump shot. Green. I'm I'm pulling with confidence. I'm not dribbling around. I'm not, you know, doing all that fancy stuff. I'm shooting the ball. Look it. I finally missed. It's a full bar. They give me an animation. That's literally a full bar. But in the corner, green. 9 for 10 this game. 5 for 6 from the three-point line. If this video helped you out at all, drop a like on the video right now. If you didn't watch the entire video, you're not going to get all the tips in, and you're not going to be shooting consistent like I am. Okay? Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 400K on the way. Oh, and by the way, if you guys want my 73-game win streak video, comment below. And if we get another enough comments, I'll come out with it. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double HDF man, and I'm out, y'all. I haven't had no friends, I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own. They say all girls are the same, brother than my dog. She said, Can you stay with me? No, I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my neck. It's wet, I'm about to flex up on my necks.